said they said that she's de she's not dependable and worth worthless. Okay. Um, Managers informed her of her termination and cited her absence due to her COVID-19 related disabilities as a basis of termination. I don't believe that. As a result of Martin's trips to the hospital and doctor's notes, defendants were on notice of Martin's disabilities. Now, unless the doctors, my opinion is, unless the doctors wrote, I mean, they, they obviously gave her a note saying she couldn't work during a specific time, she had to take another week off. Unless they had a note that said that due to her disability, she was limited to only be able to do X, Y, and Z. Um, she, she is limited to sitting while working, anything like that. You know, listing accommodations, I'm not really sure how they can say that um, how she could say she was disabled just from COVID. I, I think there would have to be some type of a verification from a physician saying that, you know, her lung capacity is only at this amount and, you know, but again, that's just my opinion. Um, defendant state, defendant's stated basis for termination was because of her disabilities that resulted from COVID-19. And that's listed as stated basis for termination. So that's what Jen says she was terminated for. She was terminated because of her disabilities that resulted from, from COVID-19. Um, now they're talking about um, disciplinary procedure at, when, you're, when you work at McDonald's, like how there should be some type of progressive disciplinary policy. And there were just a couple I highlighted. Under a progressive disciplinary policy, Martin had not been given a verbal warning related to the stated basis of termination. Now, I'm assuming that since the doctor had told her to stay home and don't work, that they probably did not have much contact with her. Um, and I don't know if as an employer, I would call an employee when a doctor told them to stay home, I would not call them and say, oh, by the way, you know, I'm giving you a verbal warning that you're not in work. So I just wanted to let you know, you know, it, it just, I don't know, it doesn't seem right. Um, under the progressive disciplinary policy, Martin did not, had not been given a suspension related to a stated basis for termination. I mean, suspending her, I don't understand what that would have done. She wasn't in work already. I mean, I don't know, um, you know, I, I, I don't know what they would be suspending her from. Um, that was kind of weird. Um, let me read this. This is from my lawyer. For clarity, no papers are... No papers are not admissible on their own. A doctor or an employee will have to be on the stand to verify. So, for example, the employer that called her worthless, complaints are not considered evidence. So a doctor will be questioned on why they said a week. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. This woman is awesome. So that's interesting. Yeah. You know, why is it that she was in the ER and they told her that she, um, you know, needs to go home and then she goes back to the ER two days later and they tell her you need to stay home another week? You know, what was that reasoning? What changed from the first ER visit to the second one? Like, was her, was her oxygen level down? Was her, um, you know, her lung capacity, you know, worse than um, it had been, you know? Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting to see if that's the case. Hold on. Somebody said, scammy, see OG's comment. Okay, hold on. I got to scroll up a little. They, she got fired. They did that because she just left and went. Yeah, that sounds familiar. It wasn't, it was the fact that she just left. Well, you know, and that that's going to be a problem. So um, to my lawyer friend, OG Petty Witch knows Jen very well. She said in the comments, and I'll read it again just in case you missed it. The day she got fired, they did that because she just left. 
she so she didn't work her whole day. She didn't work her whole shift. She just got up and walked out. So then that that changes the whole that changes the whole picture then, right? I mean, if she came back and she was working and they hadn't fired her, but she just walked out. She was literally on the phone with me when it all happened. Wow. Oh, gee, you want to you want to come up and tell us about it and just kind of give us the um, 411.